Hello, Sandy. Hi, George. Um, hope you have had. <laughs> <laughs> hope you've had a good week. Yeah, I have. You, you too. Yeah, yeah. We get we get through each week, don't we? <laughs> Every day, one day at a time. Yeah, sometimes. Yep. Everyone's got different things going on, and we we'll just get through and uh, back here again and mm. practicing our guitar and gives us a boost each day, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. We need it. We all need a positive boost in our lives. Yeah, for sure. Guitar's a big part of us now. Mm. Okay, for the viewers out there, hope you had a good week and you got through your week and we're back again spending some time together and hope you enjoy the lesson with George and Sandy. Yep. Well, let's get started. Okay. What would you like to cover today? Well, I was wondering if we could do the Roomba and the Triplet. Okay. Just kind of do them and together go just keep it going faster okay just time. build it up yeah. let's build it up okay yeah and then just leave it kind of at that and see see where i'm at see how we're going yeah for both of them okay. and um, then we've got that other song that we said we were going to go through yep and um anything else and then there's that um that's guetto yeah. <laughs> 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 Okay, let's warm up. If you haven't done bar chords before, the chords we're doing is A minor, G, Spanish F, E. So you can do that variation, but we're going to do the bar chord version. So it's A minor, G, F, and E. So let's start with the rumba. One, two, three, four. to the level now that it's really um i'm enjoying more and more doing solos mm. how does that feel for Excellent. you yeah good mm. that's that's a good level I'm yeah happy with that. as i said to you earlier i've got a different guitar today because i left mine somewhere else this week so i've got a different guitar to what i normally have mm. i reckon i'm going to give you nine out of ten for that <laughs> it's nearly a ten really yeah but i'm really happy apart from the buzzing yeah, we're going to make mistakes. I'm trying to stop the buzzing. There you go, that's why I've taken one point off. <laughs> Move my fingers around to stop the buzzing and hitch the guitar up because it's yeah. slipping on yeah. my yeah. finger. Mm. 
We've got a few more months till summertime. Yep. So this is exciting. Mm. It's going to be exciting when um, we're both playing out there in the streets, yeah, doing some busking, see what reaction. Mm. It's always been an interesting goal this year, hasn't it? Yeah. To take someone that's just beginning, although you've done guitar like years and years ago, different mm. style, but now you're improving your speed and you're learning the flamenco guitar. Mm. So, yeah. So, yeah. Well done. Keep up the good work. And you guys up there just encourage you, keep practicing. And if you're around Melbourne, um, you mm. know, we'll find a way to meet up and have a little jam. Yep. Okay, um, the triplet. So, as you said, like, even um, you helped me the other day, Sandy, sharing, like, we can get wrist in a little bit more. Mm. Thank you. 
said. <laughs> you can, once you get it, you can get it. Ooh. <laughs> It's, it's nearly there. It feels like this. it's moving a little bit. Mm. That could make the whole thing.
think that'll get past that. chords then we, I'm going to look at doing some other chord progressions mm -hmm. and you're in the rhythm as everyone that's uh, all our viewers are picking these up and you're getting really well we're going to do a lot more other rhythms later on in the mm. months to come yes and then you'll start picking up a lot of a lot of tunes I know it's a lot of repetition but this is like Sandy this is your stage mm. so I'm doing these lessons around you Later on, it might be different if I just do some individual videos and other things, but for the moment, we're just doing it as I'm teaching someone individually. Mm. The whole process of being patient and working through yeah. things. Yeah. You can't fast track it along. No, unfortunately. And I feel like I need to say sorry to all those people out there that are saying, oh, come on, Sandy, you know, you should have this by now, come on. <laughs> um, at the same time, there's a lot of other people who are like, will be really struggling, mm. which I know I've taught yeah. over a thousand people. Mm. So you're doing well, <laughs> I encourage you. Because there's lots of other YouTube videos for a lot of other things people can mm. always, you know, encourage you to go look at lots of other videos once your fingers are moving well you can do all sorts of things out there mm. but there's a lot of people who don't know how to press their fingers on the on the string and get the right sound so it's it was more this video is more geared towards that but now as we're improving because mm. people can come, go back to those videos one of the earlier videos mm. done a few months ago yeah yeah. So thanks for encouraging me, Sandy, to make these videos. Oh, no worries. It's been fun. Yeah, it's been great. Mm. Very encouraging. It's encouraged me to practice a lot more too, so mm. I'm excited. Yeah, me too. And and I haven't touched a guitar for, I've, it had to be over 10 years before yeah. we started this. So, yeah. It's I'm so glad. I'm so glad I met you and we're doing this. Mm. Vice versa. And, yeah, let's have a run through the song. Okay. Like so we started it here with a pinky and we pluck three times, um, two lots of three times. So it's the pinky on the fifth fret. So I haven't given this song a name yet. Maybe she can think of something. <laughs> It's I'm just, on a triad for YouTube to say we, it's a copyright claim so far. Mm. That's its full name. Oh my gosh. It's amazing what we put out there because there's so many similar mel melodies, especially around these chords. Mm. So you can create your own melodies too once you get better. And it's not a copyright by any means. No. So the pinky on the fifth fret, first string, and we're going to pluck like this. One, two, three, one, two, three, then second finger on the third fret. Yep. Again, one, two, three, one, two, three. First uh, finger on the first fret, two, three, four. Seven fret again. First fret. 
fret slide to third fret, seventh fret. And the last part of this second part of the song is open, first fret, fourth fret. Oops, a little twang there. So first fret, I mean, sorry, open, first fret, and then fourth fret. Now let's do it in um, normal speed. Two, three, four. First finger on the eighth fret, which is a C note there. Okay, so now we go second finger on the ten, and then the twelve. Okay, just got to remember this part here. Okay, that's it. So let's do that again. It's quite. It's getting a little bit harder now. So, 8, 10, 12, 8, 10, 12, 10, 8, then it goes to the 7th fret, 7, then 8, 10, oh, yeah. do that again. 7, 8, 10, then the 5th fret. string 10th fret so it goes then we go to the 8th fret on the second string that's it now to the 6th fret this a little bit more because it's quite tricky so that's on the second fret sorry second so we're on the second string yeah just do a quick tune up there yeah it's not it didn't sound quite right but it says it's okay yeah. so it's a second string 10th fret and then the first string 8th fret and First string, 12th fret. Okay, let's do it again. Again. Second part was second finger on the 8th fret. First finger on the first string, 7th fret. And then same string, 10th fret. 
So let's play that twice. That's it. And now we go to the sixth fret on the second string. First string, fifth fret, and then first string, eighth fret. Let's do it twice. And then the last one is the second finger on the fifth fret, second string, and then first string, fourth fret, first string, seventh fret. So that's like an arpeggio for these chords. together. So that's we're now on the first, second, third, fourth part of the song. Well one more, one more part. Of it. Two, three, four. Which is one of my favorites because it's very effective. It's not very difficult, but it's very effective. It mm -hmm. sounds like it's difficult. So, hope you enjoy this part. So, we're going to go with our first finger on the eighth fret. So, what we're going to do, we're going to pluck, pluck a note and then we're going to pluck the open string. So, so do that again. Let's just do that for a little while. Just go. So it's going to be 8, open, 10, open, 12, open, 10, open, like that. Let's do it together twice through. which is the 7th fret, let's do the same thing, 7th fret, open, 8th fret, open, 2nd finger, and then 10th fret, open, and then back to the 8th fret, let's do that twice through, 2, 3, 4. string okay two three four so fifth fret open seventh fret open eighth fret and then seventh fret okay good job two three four Starting with the finger down and then the open. Two, three, four. Because we did on the other video, this song a little bit slower. So we're going to go. 
reasonable speed right. now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just thinking what maybe we should call this song. So A minor run, A minor melody. We'll keep thinking. Mm. <laughs> we'll give it a name. If you guys, if guys got any suggestions, just leave a comment. What name? We could use this song. We might choose one of your suggestions. Hey, that's a good idea. Mm. There you go. You can be part of this too. Mm. Okay, well, I'll, I'll practice the chords with you just to get you started, get you up to speed. Mm -hmm. Two, three, four. <laughs> This week's goal is for you to play all that melody for us next week. Mm, okay. Um, I'm going to do something else now with this one. I'm going to do one part which you've just heard, but the second part I'm going to do some extra fills. So the musicians who can actually play already quite a bit, they can get some other ideas. How does that sound? Mm, yeah, sounds good. All right, so I'm, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do exactly, see how each part is played twice through. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to play the first bit normal and the second bit of each part, just a little extra fill. All right. All right, so I'm going to put myself on the spot there. Okay. This is part of, as you get better, you can be very creative, and that's part of music, and just gives you a lift. Mm. Just yeah. creating things on the spot, just like we're talking, you know. Mm. Otherwise, we'll be always reading a book and, hang on a minute, I've got to read this part of the book to talk to you. But we've got to be able to think on the spot as mm. well as reading. Yeah. All right, here we go. See how... We might make a few mistakes. Oh, that's... One, two, three, four. <laughs>
Yeah. yeah you that kept was it fun. going there and you kept the bar chords going. Um, do you want to try a bit of the. Too, yeah, maybe too okay. much. We can do like a little <laughs> glimpse of it today. Yeah. It's um we'll go we'll do an easy chord, the E chord. So we've done the rumba, but there's a few variations we're gonna do later. We've done the triplet. The triplet. And this is another one that's very important. We use four fingers. top there. What we're going to do with our four fingers is like flick them. You can't, you don't do that. You just bring out each finger from the pinky first, ring, middle, index. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now the hard thing is when you get to the fourth one, one, two, Three. When you get to the fourth one, the other fingers go in. So one, two, three, and then swap. One, two, three, swap. Mm, okay. It's quite tricky. Mm. This is a lot harder. This is probably the most difficult out of all of them. <laughs> That's why I avoid it sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> one, two, three. Four, oops, there you go. One, two, three, four, and then when you start the pinky again, that's when this one comes in, so it swaps like that. One, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So if you look in the guitar, it's gonna be one, two, three, four, one, three, four, one, two, three. As you can put the index out, Three fingers come back, and as you put the next pinky out, the index finger comes back in. Quite a lot of coordination there. <laughs> today and then we'll see the improvements mm. see what you can do I can tell you I'm at zero <laughs> okay okay so there's lots of scope for improvement so the thumb there the fingers come up here so this is really hard because you don't most people will do that or they'll do part part of each finger then the rest come out but you need to complete each finger before the next one starts it has to be completed like that's pinky. see how the other ones are coming out and then ring, and middle, and then as we do the index, the rest come up, so, and then, okay, now, pinky comes out, and the index goes in, that's it. That's how you practice it, and later on you'll be free. You'll just naturally go like that. Like rolling. So then when you do the rhythm, the, the rumba. Oh, 
Second solo, brush up, it's really good one too. Two, three, four. <laughs> Session. Okay, bye for now. Bye.